gotta hand it to them, that's a terrific whistle sound for the Atari 2600. And I like the realistic crowd noise in this game. It's not bad. This is Real Sports Soccer from 1983 for the Atari 2600. This is another addition to the Real Sports line of games for the Atari 2600, which if you look at the first six years of the Atari 2600, that's when the bulk of games came out for it. The Real Sports games were at the tail end of that. Right, right around 83, they have silver labels. They're all easy to find and very affordable today, especially this one, Real Sports Soccer. I'm playing as the team in blue. My team is named the Razak Fighting Blueberries in honor of Razak from Yars Revenge and the fact that they're wearing blue. And blueberries are, are blue. And when you say fighting blueberries, it makes them sound more aggressive and more likely that they'll win a game of soccer against the yellow team, the Atari Yellow People. While this is a technically superior game to the earlier championship soccer for the Atari 2600, I actually prefer championship soccer. Here in real sports soccer, they try some interesting things, and it's actually really cool to look at this game because it, there's some elements in here which have carried through to games today. You can select your player, for one thing, and when you hit the button, you can rotate between your three players on the field. What sounds great in concept is a bit frustrating to play though because each of your three players can only play on the top third, middle third, or lower third of, of, their, of their field, of the screen. Their field, like it's real. You're controlling their destiny. That guy's foot is like a Zorlon cannon shooting the ball through my defensive field into the goal. You can play one player or two player against a friend. I'm playing one player here against the computer. You run into the ball or the guy with the ball and you can, you can pass it off to the guy in the top of the screen or the bottom of the screen and they can get the ball frequently. I'm not sure exactly how this works. If you're behind the guy with the ball or if, or if they're behind you and you have the ball, they're going to catch up to you. They'll be faster, magically. The surge of Atari 2600 adrenaline rushes through the pixels on screen and they will catch up to you. I found gameplay to be more like hockey than soccer because I kept just trying to get the ball into their zone or their end of the field and then kick it in from there. It's not a bad game, but I prefer the more rudimentary Atari-style championship soccer to this one. However, if you like soccer, you can buy both of these games for a cup of coffee, or the price of a cup of coffee. You could probably trade a cup of coffee for them as well, depending on the quality of the coffee. In my opinion, I don't think that soccer games got really good until the Genesis, but I, you know, that, that's my opinion. <laughs> For you listeners who are not Americans, you might call this sport something else, in which case Atari has another game for you called Real Sports Football, which happens to be American-style football, so that doesn't really help you. You just need to buy Real Sports Soccer, use a Sharpie, and write over it and say football. The game is tied. The crowd is tense. Cars are waiting to be overturned and burned in the parking lot. Let's see if the Razak Fighting Blueberries can pull off a victory. The Atari does not have any music to this game, but if the Razak Fighting Blueberries had a theme song, it would be this. 